Okay, you guys, so if you saw on, maybe not. Their pet recently got hurt really bad at, I'll let them say it, I'm pretty sure it was PetSmart. And uh, it was PetSmart, I can't I remember the phone conversation. I'll have to go through the email, but this is the their second pet that didn't get hurt. And parents said this is a golden, full blood golden retriever. And the other pet they have is a Great Pyrenees. And I have a contact issue problem. Um, he has lots of mats here. And I'm not dematting him. So the route, the, today's routine is going to be we do Sam first because their second dog that got recently hurt pretty bad, but they couldn't even finish the mane on that pet and they cut the dog back here real bad. Um, we're going to fix her mane today, shave it all off. Because they did a shave down, but they did not shave all the mane, and then there was an injury. So my point is, is that today with Sam, we're gonna start off with Sam, we're gonna start the hair cutting, we're gonna get him mostly done, and then they're gonna bring Sandy in, and they're gonna give an, a sedative, sorry, I got a contact issue. They're gonna give a sedative to Sandy, which I told them don't do it, but since you're, since you're gonna be helping me with Sandy, you're gonna see firsthand if that sedative really worked or not. So they're gonna give the sedative, and then they're gonna come in and we're gonna see if that sedative even helped Sandy, because I don't believe in doing the sedatives. It's just a waste of money and waste of implementation to the organs with that drug, okay? Because usually you don't see it really make an impact with the grooming. So with, so here was the options I gave him. One, we could do a complete shave down, but mom on the phone a few days ago, and we've been talking back and forth for over two weeks, a few days ago, she told me what she wanted on Sam, and which was a shape up. Unfortunately, I can't do a shape up when we've got serious matting in here. I'm not going to do it. I said, from here down, I can shave down, and we can let this grow out. And this is going to be like spot hair cutting. And then I was like, oh, the back, the, the back is not that bad, but actually, this all is matted here. So if we do spot shaving, it's not going to look pretty. And those of you who are not going to listen to this, you know, you need to listen to, to video. But there's a reason why we're going to do everything to prevent having to go through shaving. And I'm not going to demat. I don't. I don't. I'm not here to do that. It's too painful. And I already have permission to go ahead and do a complete haircut if I need to do that. If I feel like you know this is looking really crappy, then we'll do that. But honestly, he's got knots kind of everywhere. Yeah, he's got knots all in here, man. Go ahead. I'm sorry, David. Can you just text Dad and just say, hey, Dee Dee said we're going to do a full shave down because his neck is all matted. Feel this. Do you want to feel it yourself? Feel in here. All in there. From the skin. you got to feel from the skin out. It's all matted. It's all matted bad, man. Yeah, he's going to have to. It's just not going to work out, man. It's going to take too long. for You guys have seen me do it. It's going to take too long for me to save anything. Look at this. And that's just an example. I can't pull a, like, you know, because it's the entire coat. This is all matted here. It's, it's going to just... Here the, top, right? the only thing that's not matted is this stuff here on top. This all stuff. So, he said they brush about three times a week. They just brush the top. Must just brush the top. I don't know. I can't tell you. This is bad. Okay, I'm stupid over right here trying to think I'm going to save this. I know, yeah, buddy. Look it up. Okay, can you text him and let him know? Just say, Didi has been feeling his neck and because his neck is pretty matted. And just say, we'll have a video. Because we already got permission. Look at all this. Can you guys see how matted this is? <sighs> this right here, look at all this. This is not... Look at this. All the way from the skin out. Look how raw the skin is here. Can you see how red it is? Can you see how red that skin is there? pretty red anyway. Okay, this is too much. Let me get to work. All right, so we're going to do a seven haircut. Not my favorite thing, but if you want to come in matted, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do a seven, but as I get into this stuff that's really matted, you may have to do a ten, okay? This is a seven blade. All right, we're going to start back here.
See how hot he is and we're inside and it's like not nine in the morning. He's already pretty hot. He's already hot now. They haven't even got the 100 degrees yet. Yeah, I'm doing a, a shave down. Say okay, sorry, DD found the. Just say we'll have it all on video. DD found the neck was just as matted as the hiney and stuff, so this is probably the best way to go. When a, when a groomer has to make decisions on the spot, it's because there's so much going on. The time of the appointment, how long you're going to have the dog, how mad it is it, how much time are you going to waste trying to save the mats, you know? How painful is it going to be? See, this is matted right here. You can't tell from the outside of this hair, but right at the skin. So then sometimes, like he even said, he goes, well, can you just try to leave as much hair as you can and try to get the mats out, but leave as much hair as you can? Well, all the hair that's great is out here and all the mats are right at the skin. You have to go under the mats to get it out safely. You have to go under the matting. Look at all this. Okay. I am going to see if I can leave something, but I, I doubt I'm going to be able to leave anything. See, it's all raw in here because of the mats. Look at this red mark right here. You have to use a comb when you're brushing or you're not going to hit that skin area. It's just, it's impossible. You have to brush and then use with the comb. Check with the comb, okay? That's the, that's the key right there. We got our dog up sand in the house. Yeah, this will help me. He keeps trying to sit, right? He's a pretty big dog too, so. See all this? There's no way if you don't use a comb, you're not going to be able to know that. Did you get that? Because look out here, this is fine. Look at all this, man. Look how th thick that is. Look how knotted that is. Can you guys tell? I'm done here. Can I just get to work? <laughs> I'm done to give you examples. Okay. So sometimes when folks tell me, you know, hey, my dog was shaved down, and I usually say it's probably matted. You know, a uh, groomer is usually going to do that shave down when they're matted, man. All this is knotted and matted at the skin level here. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that.
if I could if I could just talk to parents of dogs right when they get the dog and I think that that's what should happen when they adopt a dog find a dog rescue a dog I think someone should be on the front line right there telling them what brush they need look at this what am I doing here, I need to brush here. what brush do they need you know what I'm saying like everything that they need tail's matted. I don't really want to shave the tail, but it is what it is. The matted at the skin. Do you see what I'm saying down here? Not up here. You're doing so good, Sam. Show, but I kind of don't think I have a choice here. I'm not brushing that stuff out, unfortunately. Still got my seven here. I'm sorry, dogs hate their tails brushed or groomed or shaved. Okay, let me just get in and out of there. At least this way you know your the body of the dog is going to be able to breathe. So I actually see some major skin irritation here. I mean, we haven't even done. Yeah, he's got a hot spot right there. Yeah, I hadn't even touched the anal area, so he's got a, definitely got a hot spot in there. Okay, let me show you the hot spot. Yeah, I love the fact that I record because if something goes down, I mean, you could see it right on camera that, you know, wasn't my fault. So I'm going to squeeze out, not squeeze, but I'm going to separate it out. And you can see inside there that hot spot that he's chewing at here. Maybe the fluid from the anal area too. Sometimes that can be like acid. I'm so sorry, buddy. Can I get in here? Use your elbow, try to move him over this way. I oh, know it's not sounding all that great. Crap, man, all the mats making it look that bad. Oh. Sometimes when you have mats, you're not going to be able to give it a perfect haircut either. This, the hair is not going to cooperate with you. 
and right now I'm doing a seven. See, this dog upstand is like barely touching, but enough to keep him where he, if he tries to go to sit, it'll push him, kind of give him that, like, oh, something's in the way, right? Can't even get that off. I see little things, you know, I'm trying to keep an eye and make sure it's not fleas. Because man, we're having flea issues already here in Texas now. See? See that? See the mats just folding off. I'm gonna do a little bit of an example right there when I get done here. That mask. His whole body is like real red to me. Um, hopefully we can kind of watch it and manage it. Could be allergies, could be his food, could be just him. But with that hot spot, it makes you kind of wonder. I'm gonna ask if I can do anal glands though. He could be chewing at the anal area because it's too full, you know? Could be that. Gosh, how am I gonna try to save something? Can you look forward to me? Good. He's getting frustrated a little bit. He's getting frustrated that there's not enough room. No, he can pull those curtains. Like pull those curtains. I was cutting for me or something. There's no lighting. It can't move around easy. It's getting frustrated. Thanks. That one you can't flip. You gotta get tie that one because that's leather. Yeah, that's I'm, trying, flip I'm trying to tie it, but it's still so thick. Okay, it's in the house. No, don't do that. You're gonna know. Here. Okay, fine. I don't think it's gonna work. I bet you it's gonna fall down. What you wanna bet? You already I'm owe betting me, you. You already owe me fifty. No, you you can't just pop up with numbers like that, man. You, you can't just come at me with numbers like that. I bet on video. 50 bucks. I didn't bet on 50. What's he thinking, man? I don't bet 50 bucks. I work hard for that money. I'll bet you a labor. I'll bet you some candy. I'll bet you like 10 cents. You said I can't do what you think is the best, which hurt. Yeah, I, I am. <laughs> Hey, 
if it wasn't matted, it would just fall down. But it's matted, so it's pretty bad. I'm glad we decided to do a shave now. This would take me too long to try to save that. Look at that. That's just crazy. Okay. Well, that's a good picture right there. <laughs> oh yeah, I got that picture, buddy. Yeah, hi. <laughs> You're doing great. You're doing great, man. Mad at you guys, how am I gonna save this? Okay, real fast, when he is growing out, you're gonna brush from the, from the bottom to the top. So he's using his tail to stop him. <laughs> you're gonna brush down at the lowest area. Brush, brush, brush. Oh, there's a tangle. Hmm. That's all you could save? No, I'm not gonna save that. <laughs> you're funny. I'm gonna cut that mat out. This is how you are gonna brush. I'm just doing this because when the parents watch the video, he doesn't need to be shaved. He needs to be brushed uh, in a certain way that would allow him to be. Now you're gonna check with the comb. Cause once I shave him, it's like, oh, we don't have to brush him anymore. No, as he's growing out, you still gotta do the right brushing. Brush, comb, brush, comb, two, two tools. If you don't get anything, just get the brush and the comb. The comb is essential. Okay, now we're gonna continue on grooming. Thanks, appreciate you. You go do your thing, baby. And you're doing a private area. Seems like I can see what I got going on here. How are we looking down here, huh? You kind of miss it. Watch your face. Yeah. You just gotta find that. Okay, now I'm gonna just take all this off. I just did that to show you guys what to do with the brushing. I'm gonna actually try to leave these arms here. I'm gonna try to give him some dignity. So I'm still got my seven now. I did a 10 at the sanitary. You got your seven, you can kind of come right there reverse on the underleg. And it won't be as short as the 10 in there, but short. Well, it's actually gonna be just as short as the 10. You're just gonna come at the hair a different angle so you can capture all the hair that grows down, right? We'll do it like that on the other side too. We're about to come over here and work on his face though. He's a 
lot to it, isn't it? Some of this area here is not going to be perfect because it was matted. I can go a little shorter, but I'm going to choose not to. I don't care about some of these. It's not perfect. This hair is definitely more like needles, man. I put a piece of tape on my hand. Okay pull out this one that got in my skin. Okay, let's see what we can do with this. What do you guys see here? All right, I'm gonna try to do what I can with this mane right here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but it might. You're doing so good. Your demeanor's so good. Yes, you are. We're halfway, more than halfway done, okay? I'm going to need to move to a 10 blade for safety reasons. I got my ceramic edge instead this time because it cuts a little different. So I'm going to come in here and try to remove mats. Um, might be the whole thing, but I'm going to try to leave something here. If I can't, I'm just going to remove it all. Try to turn your clippers off as you go. Look at all this. What am I doing here? I can't even see what's going on. Beautiful dog, right? I am going sideways with it so so I can cut through some of the stuff and then also come in and remove big mats. I don't care, I'm just shaving it out and trying to hope that I can leave enough mane where it covers it up, but I don't know that I can make that happen.
I totally want to just shave it right now. Look up. Skin's pretty raw in there. I'm not even brushed up there and it's red, red, red. you guys <laughs> all right so we're gonna bring the mane up if we can it's all in the collar so then we're just gonna take it off this is too much all right so we got to, I tried for a few minutes here we're gonna take, take the mane off brushing is so essential Let me go over here, I'm about to do this side anyway. Okay, okay, it's just a trash can. Stop, look forward. Look forward. Stop, stop. Nope, nope. Come on now. Come on now. Look up. Look up. Nope. Stop. 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 Look up. Look up. Good boy, look up, look up, look up, 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 come on, look up, come on, man, your head's too heavy, look up, 
Gotta have him look up because he's got too much skin flaps in there. And that you can nick a skin flap if he keeps looking down. So it's essential. You gotta have him looking up. So, so far I've probably used four different seven blades. That's how I can keep going. If you buy one seven blade and that's what you're trying to do and you can't work as fast as me and you're at home doing it, that's why I'll have you on the phone and I'll be like, you need at least three blades because it's going to get hot. They're going to get hot on you. And you're going to want to take a break and then you might as well just take a break till the next day because you're off and on, off and on, you know? Okay. What we got going here? Look over here. Look over here. Okay. Okay. outside. Okay, I'm not worried about that. We'll fix it up later. It's not a big deal. we get some of this washed up and then I'll be able to see what's still left. I'm gonna do a little, I'm gonna um, just leave all this here. I'm just gonna trim all this down.
arm. Shave the arm because that's a mat in there. Alright, so we're gonna leave it down. I am gonna double check with my comb though. And see if it's worth leaving. Make sure there's any knots in there. this up, you never know. I'm going to get the dog up stand. He doesn't really want to sit, right? He's doing great. See, it's just it's, it's just right there, just like that. doesn't need to be all pushing him up and hanging him up over the edge or anything like that. Get your 40 and do the pads. You can do a 10 on the pads, but you're going to be there a lot longer than me. That's the only difference. It doesn't take it off as fast. door going off. Great, man. All those maps come more out. Okay. So this kind of pet I would go ahead and get by large and my small dog up dog dog. Uh, dog clippers because the nails are usually pretty strong. Let me just look first. And if you just need to do like the tip, you can use your mini nail clippers, your small ones. So I can see the vein. So there's not much I'm gonna take on the back ones at least here. Whew. Hairs are flying around. Okay, check this. Don't get mad, man. Don't get mad. You're good. No, no. No, don't get mad at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't get mad. Look forward. Don't, don't get mad. No one's hurting you. Don't get mad. Let me see your paw here. Up, 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 up. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. I don't like the position, so I'm gonna, he wants to stand. I'm getting rid of the dog. So I was telling the camera before I stopped recording that you can use your large and your small dog 
nail clippers because his nails are big and strong. So, Sam, good boy, good boy. You can get the bulk out with your big nail clippers and then do some chiseling with your little nail. Bop, 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 boop. Sam, 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 right here, look here. Very good, see? Sam, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, a little bit more. He constantly pulling, man. All right, he did great for the bath. Yeah, we're gonna fix everything up here. Oh, nice and soft. You nice and soft? Yeah, you're so nice and soft. It's a lot of work today, huh? Yeah. They haven't had a groom in like eight months, I think, six to eight, more than six months, less than eight months. So I told them, when we get them all cleaned up, we need to come in regularly. Even if it's just to get the groomer's hands on the dog, like brush something. Like once a month, do brush, have a professional do the brushing, you know? Stop, I'm gonna close the curtain. We're just gonna even everything up now. With the seven, back with the seven. Come on, Sam. So I'm going to do the top half and then raise him up because I don't want to bend over too much here. I do what I can see up here. Oh yeah, sit down. There you go. No, not that I know of. What? Really? The whole box is gone? Yeah. You must have been outside or something. Or... I was outside for like four minutes. Well, go ahead. I don't know. I'll go check the cameras. Just now? When? When you went outside, the door was open. Yeah. We better check. I can with him sitting down here and then at the very last I'll have him stand up and we'll use the dog up stand. Oh 
I'm like, at the very last, like right now. <laughs> the very last now. No. Hey, I'm on camera and I'm trying to groom this. Seth, I don't know what you're talking about. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, oh, I thought you were like my dad. I was like, no, I didn't text my dad, dude. Dude, <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about my dad right now. What are you talking about, man? It's because I can't hear anything over these clippers. You guys like some of this fullness over here? I'm not, you guys can't even see, man. I'm so sorry. Skin's really irritated, but cut's looking really good, so. Skin's really irritated from something other than grooming, so it's a uh, matting or. Okay, skin not breathing or allergies or the food, something. So pretty, right? Heck yeah. Woohoo, looks great. <laughs> Such a beautiful dog, man. Yeah? Okay, we're gonna do a two guard on my tin reverse here. Just kind of blend this a little bit. I'm not trying to take it off or anything, just get it off the back of the neck. Good boy. Okay, that's great there. Sweep a little bit here so we can see what's going on. Sorry about that.
I'm using my shaper comb brush, excuse me, my shaper brush. Nice. Just move that hair up and into your way here. brush is actually called shaper brush it's not something I would brush with if you have combs like brush like that with those bristles oh heck no man you got to use a real brush but this is my shaper brush just to move hair around small enough to kind of move stuff around I guess we can come back to the head, just double check some stuff on the head. I'm not too worried about it. It's going to have to fade in anyway, so.
this here? Thank you. Let's see this one. Let's try this comb first. You see? No, no, no. 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 This way. You come back more with this. Yeah, this looks good there. Oh, that looks good there. You got it. Thanks. I'm gonna get that mat out of the armpit, right? Let's check your armpit, man. Looks good. Nice. Looks good? Yeah. Nice. I would just chuck them like all the time. Really? David said he would just keep them like this all the time. You see this armpit? leave-in conditioner. Our pet silk cologne? Yeah, it's gonna smell so good, right? All right, we're gonna come down. I'm gonna just leave you guys on camera for a minute. Because this is a client back to back, same owner. We just split them up because the next dog is pretty big and I don't really have a cage system for everybody like that because we do one dog at a time or one dog in an hour. So same size dog's about to come in and I'm actually gonna do a quick, uh, re I'm gonna read something to you from a text message. I think I still have them all. Wait, sit, sit. Sam, don't pee anywhere, okay? Sam, don't pee anywhere now. Let me get your collar. Come here. Come get your collar, you pretty, pretty boy. Yeah, is that your collar? Yeah. Is that your collar? Come here. Okay, just so you guys know, t remind us, that is a golden. Yeah, it's a golden. AKC. Pure golden. Pure golden. You have to find a white one, you said. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Certified I know you guys are not. Everything. They're going to be like, Didi, you know what you're talking about. No, no. <laughs> Pure golden. Okay. 
come here. Who's that? Yes, you look good. Wow. What do you think? Seriously. You do, honestly, it looks good. Yeah, it really looks does. really good. So, he nice, really soft, still got a buzz. And then I left the legs a little longer, some yeah, feathering. He really does. So yeah, good. awesome. I mean, he's a young dog, but he looks so much younger. Yeah. Look yes. at you, Sam. He's wow. sexy, man. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, do you see those rocks up in yeah. there? Just I keep an eye. Don't let them keep chiseling at it, but yeah. maybe put a little tiny needle. If there was a you mat on it. there, that's probably no, why it was. One. Okay. It was too close to the wow. uh, area. Oh, uh, you look good. Could you like you, it? Did you, you tell them about the green stuff? Green stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, like, pus or something? Where? Yes, right Where? under, right around there. Yes. So that was why he was on K-Flex. I was going to so, so he was already on antibiotics. There was a mat that, obviously, it was right there. It was on skin. We couldn't cut it anymore. Took him to the vet, the one that recommended you, and she was able to cut it off, and she said underneath there had already gotten infected. That's okay. why I put him on K-Flex. So some dogs actually drip, and so his urinary area is dripping. I wiped it. You can mm -hmm. see it on the camera. It's very mm -hmm. yellow in a paper towel. Mm -hmm. So if that, if you see in a couple days, you still see dripping, mm -hmm. not from a cut or uh, not from the matting uh, around that, mm -hmm. but from his urinary area, mm -hmm. then I would just call him and say, hey, he's dripping a little bit. He's got this yellow greenish tint coming out from his urinary. You think it's a UTI or something? No, but it's a, a what I have seen, and I'm not a veterinarian, right. but it's like a, they give them some kind of pill antibiotic to, cut, mm -hmm. to, to kick that, mm -hmm. and then it goes away. It's just okay. kind of like a minor infection of some sort inside okay. the system. Okay. So you still, I wiped it, and he's like, ew, and I was like, yeah, but that's what it is. <laughs> like it is. Plus like or yes. something. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, so if, it, if that's still there, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's like, oh man. If you see <laughs> that, <laughs> it's gooey. It's like coming okay. out. Okay. Uh, if you see that, it's just a quick antibiotic okay. usually. Right. So then Dustin's a phone call. Don't do the, hey, we're talking Animal Hospital. Skip, yeah. the, skip the exam okay. and all that. Just say, hey, Dee Dee saw this. Would you guys kick me some antibiotics? Okay. 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 And All so right. did you try the sedative already at home? I did. Okay, we're going to see what happens. Oh, we'll see. We'll All see right. you in a few minutes. Thank you. you Thanks for letting me record. <laughs>